guys uh, welcome to another YouTube video here today I'm am going to uh, install a battery meter um, just wanted to install it because I don't know when this uh, Yamaha golf cart battery gets low I'm afraid that one day I'm driving in the middle of the, down the street and all of a sudden it's out of battery I went out and bought this here actually I bought it on um, Amazon here I believe I pay like 10 bucks for it or something like that. But it's a battery meter. And this is a 48 amp um, voltage battery meter. Because the golf cart is 48 volts. So you want to get a meter that's uh, almost the same as your voltage. For exa example, this is 48 volt. So you want to get one battery meter that can test a 48 volt or read 48 volt so this one's up to 48 it can do 12 36 and 48 i believe okay and if you like to purchase this i have this down on a link um it helps support the channel and uh, purchase from the link below and uh, it's, it's the cheapest um i could find online so if you uh would like to purchase one feel free to uh, click it and uh, I get a little bit uh, support from uh, the purchase so what we're trying to do is I got a multimeter here and we first thing we got to do is find the start and end of your 48 volt battery as you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six battery. And just by looking at this, you can tell the start and end is going to be here. But to know exactly, you use a multimeter here. So let's say you take positive, negative. If you guys can see here, it says 16.8 volt. Okay, let me move this closer for you guys here. 16.8 volt so you know that's not the end that's a 16 volt you're trying to look for 48 volt or above okay so that you can't put your battery meter wires there okay? so I'm thinking it's gonna be here so I'm thinking the start and end is gonna be here okay? so let me put the positive positive red positive black to negative I'm looking for 48 volts and above. As you can see here, it's, it's hovering around 50.5. That means that's a start and end point. That's where I'm going to put my red and blue wire, positive negative wire. And if, I'm getting a 50.4. That means my battery is pretty full, fully charged. So, again, that's where I'm going to wire up my multimeter. So again, that's where I'm going to wire these two. I found out with the multimeter. That's where I'm going to wire my battery meter. So let's test it here. I got the red, black. I'll put it right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh yeah, 50.7 volts. It's at 80%. You see? So that's my start and end point. Okay, I'm probably going to end up hooking a multimeter right here with some Velcro. Make it really simple and easy. Now you can also, you can also hook it up up here if you want. You can wire it underneath your golf cart, go all the way up here. But I'm just going to make mine really simple and hook it right here for now. Okay, so I got the wiring done here. As you can see, I got red wire with positive over here black wire with negative over here and you see the multimeter it's saying 50.6 volt 29 degrees it's at 80 percent I did take it out for a, a drive today and it's pretty accurate because it was on a full charge lap this morning when I charged it last night so it is accurate and you can turn it off like that with this battery meter press that button 
but even if you leave it on it doesn't drain the battery that much but that's how simple it is to install a battery meter and you can do this all for under $10 it didn't cost me much the battery meter cost me about $10 but if you take it to a cough cart dealer or uh, anywhere else they will probably charge you about 100 bucks just for a $10 battery meter so doing this yourself you can save quite a bit of money but it's really simple not that hard not that um, much time again you can move this multimeter where you want locate it where you want so I have it right there just for now okay. that's all to it really simple Don't look at the camera. Be like, yeah, what's that's not here? <laughs> Race set action. Why the fire is dead? 